In this challenge, we have to set the date range for default view to last seven days and then give users a date control for each page so they can set the date range for each page individually. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to Google Data Studio. Here I'm in Google Data Studio. In order to apply a default date range at the report level, go to File, Report Settings, and where you see the date range, click on Custom. Click on where it says last 28 days, and then select last seven days. Go ahead and apply it. As you'll see, the numbers changed, and now it got applied to both these charts. Let's go and make sure it got applied to page two as well. So it'll be applied here as well. Now we also want to go and give users a date control that they can use for each page. In order to do that, you will click on this date control and drag it where you want it. So let's say here. Now, if you go to page one, it's not available on page one because we dropped it on the page. So we have to do that here again. So click on this and drop it. So now both of these pages have a control that is applied to that page. So let's put it in view mode. By default, it's last seven days. I'm gonna go change this and change it to last 30 days and apply it. See the numbers change. Let's go to page one. Page one is still showing last seven days. So that's all you have to do. If you want to provide a control that's applied to all the pages of the report, then go back to edit mode and we're gonna delete one of them. So I'm just gonna delete one from page two, delete it, go back to page one and click on this control, right click and select make report level. Now, when I go to page two, the same control is showing up here. And let's go ahead and move this right here and go back to page one. And it's available here as well. Now go out to view mode. And now let's change this to last 30 days, apply it, go to page two, and you can see it's last 30 days. That's it. That's how you apply the date control.